Now it's a sunny day and it's been a while since we have talked sunglasses. So we're going to talk today about a new pair from Revo that I have been kind of digging lately. I'm not going to lie. It is the Revo Air 1 and the Revo Air 2. We're going to take a look at these in a few different options. I have three different sets here. So one Air 1, two Air 2s, and we'll get into why that is as we go through the review. So hang around, stick out, and let's check out these glasses. So to start with, right off the bat, you probably notice this is not, um, at least that first pair, is not a super dark lens. We'll get into why that is a little bit later because that deserves its own little bit of fun. So we're gonna talk about the frames first and then we'll get back into the lens technology that I had on just a moment ago. So this one on my face right now is the Air 2. The one I was wearing at the beginning of the video is the Air 1. Essentially, they are the same chassis, which is this rimless chassis bolted and nutted to the lenses. Don't you dare. And <laughs> incredibly lightweight, nice hinge setup on these. One thing you'll notice that I am really fond of is this little heavier duty attachment here. So when it does close, you're not exerting all of that closing force just on this leading edge here but it is actually bringing that whole edge around. Now the whole frame, you know, overall you're gonna go, oh, this is super flimsy, it's weak, it's whatever. Well, it is a stainless steel, it is a flexible stainless. It is made in Japan, so it is not weak and flimsy, I promise you. It is designed to bend and flex with your movement. It's a more sporty frame. As I am doing this, it is still coming back to its original shape, still in adjustment. Look twisted it this far, and well, <laughs> that's enough. That's the point where you can bend it and it actually holds it. There is a point it will hold the bend, but it's easy to adjust to, so there's that. You don't wanna go sitting on them, you don't wanna go throw them outside and I'm making sure I've got everything lined back up here and I do, there you go. So easy to work with, really nice. I'm gonna call this a good pair to just kinda of keep around and beat around. This is your wear it everyday beater pair, but a really nice lightweight feel on the face. You don't really notice these on the face. I'm gonna guess I don't have my scale down here. I didn't weigh them before I came down, but it's gonna be in the 10, 12 gram range, super lightweight. As far as the lenses on this one, this is kind of their driving lens. It's a very soft brown rose color. I'm a big fan of this lens. I have it in a few frames myself, not the Revo version, but my own because, well, that's what I do, but, I will say it is a really good lens. It's a nice darkness. You can still wear it inside. You know, I can still see around, but it's a lot easier to look over and around. Overall, this one is gonna be your more traditional aviator shape with that nice teardrop, but it does have a good wrap to it. So you get a good amount of side coverage. Now, I can still fit my finger through here, so it's not coming up all the way against the cheeks, but it gives you a lot of wrap. That's the take on the Air 2. Super simple. You can see even the nose pads mount into the chassis, or the lenses rather, so everything is mounted directly to the lenses. From the backside, you can see it a little bit more. I'll show you actually the chrome one here. We'll go to the Air 2 chrome with the H2O photochromic. Yes, you heard that right. So this one, you can see a little bit more of what's going on here with the hardware. The nose pads are bolted on down here, which is part of how they keep that weight and structure in place. Then you've got a four point connecting bar across the top and then your temples bolt on at the front with an extra little little nugget stud sticking out there watch for your studs and nuts and stuff and things and there you go so this one you can't really make out on the camera too much but it is a very kind of a medium brown to gray with a slight blue flash mirror so inside i can see my eyeballs really good <laughs> <laughs> especially because I have lights here, 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 everywhere. There's lights everywhere, so I can see my eyeballs, and I can even see the ring in my eyes, and it's actually kind of evil looking, and uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, let's see if you can kinda, yeah, no, you can't, there's no, mm, nope, nope, not happening, sorry. I was trying to get the effect there, but it's not gonna happen. 
So the cool thing with these, and that's not gonna be, a, that's gonna drive me nuts. Um, that's not gonna be a thing you notice when you're actually wearing these outdoors because the lens is gonna be darker. That's gonna take away some of that backside reflection from allowing the light to pass back through the mirror. Don't mind me. Oh, I can see my tear ducts even. Okay, that's enough of that. So that's kind of an evolved version of their H2O lens. Uh, being photochromic, it's gonna increase the usability from kind of mid light to really bright, intense light really well. This is kind of the evolution of the Emerald Forest uh, Terra lens, I believe it was. No, Terra is, you know, I don't even remember. Evergreen, this is the evergreen photochromic and really the one to have in my opinion because you've got that nice neutral medium gray with just enough contrast enhancement. The green's gonna take the edge off of a lot of the brighter greeneries. Really just a good everyday lens. I personally like the shape of this a little bit better. It's a little more flattering for most faces where it's a little bit longer, a little bit sleeker. This kind of has those 2006 vibes, but I will also mention the wrap on this one is just a little bit more. I can't quite get my fingers up in there. Fits up really good and close against the face, at least on me. Overall mounting, everything else is the same. This is a really cool looking pair. Now, whether you go with the Air 1 or the Air 2, it doesn't really matter. Overall, these are gonna be the same. It's just that choice in shape. The lens technology is gonna be the same between the two. The frame feel is gonna be pretty close to the same between the two. Overall sizing isn't even that different between the two if you wanna get into that part of it. And let's see. Yeah, there you go. You can see overall width on these two as long as they get them lined up right. It's gonna hit right about the same place. It's just, this one has just a teensy bit more wrap to it. And of course the bridge is a little bit different. The Air 2 has a little bit wider bridge. Overall, very, very similar. The weight's gonna be about the same. The overall look, of course, is very different because the lens shape matters a lot. That's all I've got today. Let me know your thoughts on the Air Revos. If you wanna grab a set, I would appreciate it if you grab from me. But I understand, uh, at least say thank you. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time.